All right, let's take care of these trainer battles here on the Route 4. I have a feeling that I can win. Let's see if I'm right. Well, I have a feeling that you're going to be wrong. <laughs> Very wrong. Pintaker Hope. <laughs> no wonder why she has a feeling that she can win. She hopes that she has that feeling. <laughs> so she's going to send out a Flaffy. I think my Dragonair can take care of it. Hey, excuse me real quick. Got all of the... Got all of the ear itches I tend to get. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. Cotton spore. Huh. That move just lowers my speed. Pretty harshly. But then again, it's not going to really do that well, because paralysis cut your speed, too. I was one move ahead of you. Fully paralyzed. Very good. I wonder if he can do that many times in a row <laughs> for this Flaffy. I guess not. A growl? You can't be serious. <laughs> Whatever. Do whatever you like. Do it however you like. So I can just get an easy victory over you. That's just fine with me. <laughs> Level 35 Dragonair. Aw, you are too strong. Dang right I am. <laughs> And here's a hidden item right here. We got an Ultra Ball. Uh, let me see. There should be... There should be something else. But I think that's probably it. But, oh well. I'm raising my Pokemon. Want to battle with me? Oh, you're not the only one who's raising their Pokemon. I want to battle with you. <laughs> Alright, Bird Catcher, or Bird Keeper, Hank. <laughs> Hank the not tank. Hank not the tank. He just sent out a level 12 Pidgey. You gotta be kidding me. You can't be serious. I probably could have just used Twister to take care of it with ease. But, oh well. Got it with Dragon Rage. A level 12 Pidgey. A Pidgey Yacht. Hello. A level 34 Pidgey Yacht. You know, sometimes I think they kind of forgot the, uh, uh, you know, they left out the uh, coding for some of the trainers. I mean, because a level 12 Pidgey and a level 34 Pidgeot, <laughs> I don't know. I think they kind of forgot some of that. Yeah, even with Paralysis, it's going to go around it with Quick Attack. But hey, if I could defeat this Pidgeot, it would be pretty good. Uh, just hoping it's not going to do too, you know... Too much damage with its other moves. Yeah, one more Dragon Rage will take care of it. It's going to be big experience if I can take care of it. Okay, good. Gotcha. I gotcha, no doubt about it. 1252, I like that. Ah! I lost that one. You dang right you did. Okay, is there anything down here? Uh, nothing down here. We'll have to go up. Now without fighting this trainer. <laughs> um, I... You what? Spit it out! <laughs> That's all she has for the dialogue before she fights us. Another picnicker. Sharon. She starts out with a ferret. Ferret! Well... I'll go ahead and... Oh, quick attack. I should have figured. Yikes! Yeah, that's enough for Dragonair. I don't think I'll be able to uh, go even further with fur against this furry, because, you know, it can do quick attack. Uh, gotta call it back. Let's get some my Weeping Bell some more love. A slam attack. Up, oh, Fury Swipes. Good grief. Alright, pal. Man, not even Vine Whip put it away. A defense curl? Seriously? <laughs> Whatever. Do whatever you want to do. Just share the experience. Whatever. And a Rapidash. 
Of course, I'm going to let Dragonair share the experience against this elegant Rapidash. <laughs> Remember when the, uh, the president of the Pokemon fan club would just keep on talking and praising Rapidash? <laughs> All right, fire horse. <laughs> I wonder what the idea was to have James have that horse laugh. <laughs> I wonder what the idea of that was. So easy breezy with my Lapras. Well, not literally breezy because I did not use Ice Beam. <laughs> but it was easy nonetheless. So share the experience. Very good. All right. Nothing. She must be very shy. What did she say? I'll go train some more. Oh, okay. You do that. But anyway, here's an HP up. Sweetness. And unfortunately, I think that's all the trainers here. Uh, let me make sure if there's nothing else here. Because uh, I want to double check. Uh, besides that Ultra Ball that we just picked up. I don't, I don't think there is anything else. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else. Okay, so... Our next stop is going to be the... Uh, well, I was actually going to plan on going to Lavender Town and uh, kind of go, uh, you know, take the route that's outside of Cerulean. But, you know, since the outside of Cerulean requires cut, I'll just go ahead and, you know, take the other way around through Lavender Town. But what I want to do is hmm nah never mind let's go ahead and uh, go through lavender town i was thinking of something else but i forgot it's still uh tuesday at the time i'm recording this i was actually thinking of trying to face off against silver at the indigo plateau but unfortunately it's not monday or wednesday however i can't do that tomorrow the next time i do a session <laughs> so i mean at least that'll be another great opportunity to get more experience All right, so let's go and go up to Route 10. Face me. You like Pokemon, don't you? Me too. Well, isn't that convenient? <laughs> All right, so now we got Pokefan Robert. He's going to send out a Quagsire. He's got a Quagsire. Uh, excuse me. Uh, oh, yeah. Why did I do that? What am I thinking? It, uh, well, I used amnesia anyway. What am I thinking? I mean, it's a shame that even though... Uh, you know, I kind of never tried that, but... Uh, I mean, I'm sure... I know that uh, Quagsire is completely resistant to electric moves, but I thought it was just... I can't... I've kind of forgot it. You know, it does any electric move, whether it was offensive or... You know, just a status infliction. It it resists all. Of course, Quags... I mean, since it's a Poké fan, we're going to be dealing with more berries. Like, expect all the Poké fans to carry a berry for their Pokémon. <laughs> carry a berry. But that berry did not do it any good. So he took it down with ease. I'd have to say, that's my loss. Yeah. Even though I messed up at the very first turn, I still beat you. <laughs> All you did use was defensive moves. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha, what? Ha ha, ha ha, ha ha ha. Hiker Jim. Hiker Jimbo. He's got a Machamp. Ah, Machamp. This ought to be good experience right here. Okay, got him in the Thunder Wave. Very good. Up oh, Seismic Toss. That's going to do 35 damage. Ah, uh, if I would love to take down this Machamp with Dragonair. Oh, please. Please. I want to take down this Machamp. Yes, fully paralyzed. Very good. Just stay like that. Okay, one more. Karate Chop. Uh, wow! Come on, man! I know that move has high critical hit ratio, but give me a break. Come on. I can't believe that happened. Ugh, that sucks. That sucked. 
Oh, well, it was still a good experience for Crobat. Ah. Oh. Ha ha ha! Achoo! Yeah, go ahead and sneeze on that. Ah, oh, man. That was disappointing. All right. Gotta get my dragon air back up. Good grief. And I may need to bring out Paris either way. Even though, of course, that route required a cut outside of Cerulean City. But I think I may have to go ahead and use uh, Paris regardless. So I think I'll go ahead and I'll deposit... I'll go ahead and deposit... I'll deposit Nido King. So I can bring Paris. I may need Paris to get through this, uh... That cave that we were outside of. But let's see. I may need to bring my Espeon back out just to give her some love. But let's give this a try. See if I actually do need Paris. I think I do need Paris. Uh, let's go. Yes, I do. So here we are in the rock tunnel. So I actually do need a Paris for Flash. All right, so we got Flash. Time to bust out the repels again. And there's going to be a couple of items that we can grab in here, including hidden items. Okay, so I'm right here. Here are two items that we can get right here, which is an elixir. And this one right here is TM-47. That move is Steel Wing. Pretty good move. Uh, it could be a pretty good move if you put it to the right Pokemon. But let me see here. Uh, small Passage. Uh, let's see. It's not right here. It's around here, but it's in a... Aha, I think this is it. Yes. Here we have an X Defend. Okay, so let me see here. Uh, both uh, hidden items will be next to the stairs, so I'll just go ahead and uh, move along. Uh, here we are, next to one of the stairs. Let's see. Uh, it's around here somewhere. Uh, well, I guess I have to bust out the item finder. Hoping this doesn't take very long. Oh, I guess not. Hmm. Okay, so let me let me see. Let's try the... Oh, there's... What am I thinking? There's more sets of stairs. I just have to uh, kind of go tiles down. Ah, here's another one. Here's a max potion. Most of the time, yeah, you just have to look for passages like these. Because most of the time, these kind of passages will have the hidden items. Here's another item right here. It's a PP up. Sweet. And even most isolated boulders will have hidden items as well. Here we have a revive. Now I'm going to assume that the next one... And the Rappel already wore off. Good grief. Got to use another one. Um, as a matter of fact, you can find some pretty decent Pokemon in here. You can find a Cubone, Marowak, and a Kangaskhan. This is the only area that you can find Kangaskhan in here. And I do believe it's actually the only place that you can find a Cubone as well. Uh, of course, Marowak. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, the last one would be on the narrow passage. So, should be near the other entrance, I believe. But if we go down here, here's an iron, but I can't pick it up. Seriously? I can't pick it up. <sighs> oh boy. Let's see. Uh, I could just toss the repels away. 
Uh, the experience here. I think I may as well go ahead and give it to Dragonair again. Just to hold on to it. But here we have an iron. I think that's all of the just standard items. So we'll just have to make it to the other entrance so we can get out of here and be on the... Uh, ah, here we are at the other entrance. Here's the last hidden item. X accuracy, but unfortunately I can't pick it up. <laughs> uh, let's see. I think I'll go ahead and uh, give a uh, vitamin to one of these Pokemon. Uh, let's see. I think I'll go ahead and get the protein. Let's give the protein. Well, maybe not the protein, but maybe the... Uh, let's, let's do the HP up. Let's give it to my Lapras. Yeah. All right. Let's go and grab the X accuracy. That's all the hidden items that we can find inside the rock tunnel. We're out of here. Now we're back here on Route 9. Or <laughs> Route 10. No, Route 9. Route 10. <laughs> okay, so I don't technically need Paris anymore. Thank goodness for this Pokemon Center. <laughs> How convenient that they would put a Pokemon Center right next to a rock tunnel. I understand that they would want to kind of do that after facing all the other trainers. Uh, let's see. Let's bring my Espeon out. Maybe give some more love to Espeon. Oh, I forgot to deposit some of the items that I don't need. So, uh, I keep getting into the wrong PC. What am I doing? Okay, X-Defend, you're going in there. TP up, you're going in there. As a matter of fact, I think I'll go ahead and put my uh, uh, vitamins in there. X accuracy, you're going in there. Max revive, you're going in there. Max elixir, you're going in there. Calcium, you're going in there. Oh, really? I can't put any more mo items in there? There's no room to store items. Give me a break. Ah, whatever. I well, I guess I may as well just keep the the vitamins anyway. Whatever. And the repel wore off. I figured it was gonna do that sometime soon. Okay, since we haven't fought the rest of the trainers on this route, I think I may as well go ahead and take the chance to do so. I need to turn back to where this route is. Okay. Let's see, which one have I not faced off against yet? Well, I'll just go ahead and go down here. Face off against you. I'll tell you a secret. But first, we battle. Oh, you got a secret for me? Huh, I'd love to hear it. I'd love to hear it. Hiker Sydney. He's going to start off with a Dugtrio. Now, I can't Thunder Wave this Dugtrio because uh, it's a ground type. However, I'm going to suspect that it's going to do some pretty big damage because they're fast and they got magnitude. That can be a pretty dangerous move. Yep. May as well probably not even bother with this Doug Trio for Dragonair. Because... Well... I'll keep going with it. Oh, dig. That ain't good. I wish I could get out of that. A dig attack. That's not good. Switch to my Crobat so it doesn't do any damage. <laughs> Sucker. Sucker. I'll just go ahead and take care of you. Unfortunately, your ground attacks won't do anything on Crobat, so... Sucks to be you, buddy. Yeah, it's a little close to leveling up Crobat. And he's going to send out an Onyx. I think I could take on the Onyx. Well, the Onyx is not going to really give that much, so... I think I'll just go ahead and uh, get Weaving Bell out. I mean, you'd think the Onyx would give off plenty of HP, but... Unfortunately, it doesn't. This is going to be an easy victory, too. Quad weight to ground. Take that, buddy. A quad weight to grass, I mean. What am I talking about? Dragonair level 36. Sweetness. 
Oh, dang. I lost that. You sure did, buddy.